What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be combining two of my favorite things. We're going to be combining me making videos and superheroes into one. So today we're going to be reacting to the 15 worst comic book superheroes ever created. So we're not going to be talking about Superman or Batman or Iron Man or Captain America. None of those guys. We're just going to be talking about the 15 worst comic superheroes. Um, I might know some. I might not. So this is going to be a cool video to react to. So, uh, yeah, here, let's go. Let's, uh, let's uh, find out what's so weird about these guys. From superheroes that can only pick up radio to people that can only teleport very small distances, we count 15 incredibly useless comic book characters ever to waste their presence on your eyeballs. Number 15. Dog Welder. This one is owned by DC Comics, part of Garth Ennis's Hitman series, and Dog Welder is one member of a superhero gang known as Section 8. Most of their members have crazy powers like this one guy who gets his strength from drinking liquor, but Dog wow. Welder takes the cake. His ability is to weld dogs to a person's face. That's it. That's how he fights crime. He full on whips what? out a blowtorch and welds a dog onto a dude's face. The because, what? I mean, without dogs, a blowtorch is useless, surely. Number 14. Almighty. Can you guys imagine that? You imagine, I don't know, just walking down the street and you see dog welder show up and he's just like, Oh, come here, Sparky. And just, psh, to some dude's face. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool name, I guess. Dog welder, but... His power kind of sucks, so... Created by Buzz Dixon, Mike DiCarlo, and Jose Delbo. A character named Jay Pennington Pennypacker, who attends a self-esteem camp wow. and ends up with a superpower from a mad scientist. What a name. What can he do? Well, he can shoot money out of his wrist. But not just money. Pennies, one cent coins. Apparently, his superpower Pennies is hurt. so worthless that countries like Australia don't even recognize the thing he attacks enemies with. Number 13. Cypher, a Marvel creation for the X Men lineup. You might have heard of him. He's the guy who can translate things. That's his superpower. He would crop up every <laughs> so often to read some ancient text or read some body language. Pretty much so worthless that Marvel killed him off. And then brought him back to life with Makes some sense. slightly more useful powers, then killed him again, and then brought him back again. He's that superhero you bring back to life every time you can't read the label of a tin of baked beans. <laughs> then immediately kill so that you don't have to deal with him anymore. Number 12. Red B. Yo, yo. Can you imagine that? you imagine you're watching um, X-Men? And uh, you see Wolverine and he's like, you know, how do I, how do I enter this door? It's like, uh, who am I going to call? I don't know how to get into the door. I don't know what the door is saying. And then you see a homeboy, Professor X, come in and he's like, oh, I know just the person to call. Homie turns on. He's like, he reads it. He's like, oh, you press the red button. And it's like, I mean, it's powers to translate first appeared in the 1940s, not by Marvel or DC, but Quality Comics, later bought by DC. His powers were to attack people with trained bees and a stinger gun, and he proved so popular okay. that no company bought license to own him, and he actually like, hey, entered public domain. So bees. now anyone can continue the adventures of Rick Relay, the Red Bee. You'll have lots of fun explaining why he keeps his favorite bee named Michael inside his belt buckle to be used only for special circumstances. I'm looking forward to it. Number 11. He's like, hey, man, man. You know those times you create Skate a comic man? book character so fantastic that it gets canceled after one issue? Meet Skate Man, who has no superpowers and whose I mean, only defining hurts. traits that looks like it hurts. are that he has a scarf on his face and fights crime on roller skates. In 1990, Kitchen Sink Press awarded this single issue as the worst comic of the past 25 years, which I feel is undeserved since it allows me to live out my fantasy about doing stupid things for no reason. Number 10. The Legion of Super Pets. You might have heard about Crypto the Super Dog, who yep. Jor-El, Superman's father, sent from Krypton before it exploded in a test rocket to make sure it worked. But did you also know that he also sent a monkey called Beppo in another test rocket too? The Super Pet Legion also Super contains Horse, Streaky, Streaky the Super Cat, who was infected with X-Kryptonite, 
that apparently gives animals Superman's powers. Additionally, you have okay. Comet the Super Horse, who can transform into a human and make love to Supergirl once a year before he becomes oh. her pet horse again. What? All of them wear capes and follow orders from Superman. This is actually a thing. Number no comment. Nine. No Squirrel comment. Girl, 1992, Marvel. I actually heard of her. You know you've run out of ideas when you literally her. take the traits of a forest animal, give them to a character, and call it a superpower. Squirrel Girl can talk to squirrels, and she has squirrel-like abilities, and she can tell squirrels to do stuff. <laughs> also, she looks somewhat like a squirrel. She was a member of the Great yeah, Lakes of Avengers, of and now she sometimes acts as a nanny for Luke Cage that while attending NCU. Looks creepy. She's pretty nuts. Uh -huh. Number eight, Razorback. This is like Squirrel Girl, but worse, and he looks like someone trying to dress up as a character from Dota 2. He first appears in the Spectacular Spider-Man, a man that dresses up like a pig to fight crime. That's right, he doesn't even have pig-like powers, he just wears the headpiece and that's his thing. But he does have a superpower, oh yes, he can drive any vehicle. Wow, a really? A pig that can drive any okay. vehicle. I've tried thinking about whether it's a metaphor or it symbolizes car drivers, but no. It's just a damn pig that can drive any car. True, sure, it's just well a pig done. that drives a car. Seven. Matter Eater Lad. This one made it into <laughs> the Legion of Superheroes, part of DC's lineup of uh, teens from I know the 31st this one too. century. This, funny. this guy barely made it in with a technicality. His power is that he can eat any substance like bricks, doors, and vegetables without <laughs> dying. That's it. He can't fight. He has no other powers. He can just eat things and not die. Sure. I want you to think about the practicality for one second. Other superheroes can punch through locked doors, melt yeah. warheads with their eyeballs, but this ass clown can do nothing but Whoa. eat things what and not roast. die. Under what circumstance is that useful? Number six, That's Infectious true. Lass. Here's one that did not make it into the Legion of Superheroes, an alien from the planet Somter, where everyone is a walking infectious disease. Her superpower is that she makes people feel sick when she shows up. She is the epitome of germ warfare. While she can wow. aim and control her infectiousness, <laughs> she usually accidentally hits her allies anyway. So much that she's really not worth taking anywhere, unless you just need a day off school. Number five, oh, yeah. Doorman. This That's is useful. a superhero that sounds like a, a joke on paper. But when you really think about it, you realize Doorman. it is a joke. Doorman can teleport people anywhere in the world they want to go, but only if it's into the next room over. Which is useful what? under one scenario. That sucks. Someone can't get into a room because it's locked or something. The rest of the time, Doorman just sits around waiting for someone to ask him to move somewhere slightly, which can be nothing but a highly sought after profession. Number four, Ulysses Solomon Archer. This guy was involved pause. in a. Pause, pause, pause. Doorman sounds like he sucks. It's like you can teleport, but you can only teleport 20 feet away. You know? <laughs> Doorman. <laughs> uh, well, hey, you know, you gotta learn something uh, every day, so... Uh... ...that ended his brother's life, where his head was crushed, and now he seeks revenge on the trucker that did it. His superpower comes from the new skull, the amazing situation-changing ability to pick up CB radio transmissions. He uses his radical power to hunt the truck driver, and the comic ends after 12 issues, and Ooh, so ends the glorious like saga of this man. guy that can pick up radio, which, you know, he could do with various gadgets anyway. Number three, Maggot. This guy is like the Hulk, Maggot. but unnecessarily handicapped by the fact his digestive system Maggot. consists of two slugs. And the only way he can acquire his super strength is for the slugs to leave his body, gather nutrients, and return. Wow. Other superheroes can, you know, summon great strength by thinking about it. But I guess waiting for your slug intestines to slurp up some power juice works as well. That's right. Bouncing That's Boy, a kid that can inflate himself to such a point that he becomes like an elastic bouncy ball. Okay. For a long time, other superheroes thought him a pointless waste of space until one day, wow. oh, he proved them wrong. He could, in fact, bowl over enemies with his great bounciness. Him trying to join the Justice League and Superman's like, nah, dude, bounce. Just freaking, you know, super bounces him away. And he tells Batman, like, yo, homeboy over here tried to join the Justice League. Do you believe him? Batman's like, 
Yeah, dude. Keeps trying to join. I keep telling him no. Just keeps bouncing back in the freaking room. And thus prove himself on par with Batman and the rest. Clearly. Number one. Um, fall off boy. His name wow. accurately describes okay. his power. To tear off his own arm and beat up enemies with it. That's it. That's all he can do. His superpower is essentially a disability. A lot of children these days strive to be like Superman or Batman, but every so often a kid comes along and says, When I grow up, I want to tear my own arm off and club people to death with it. Wow. Which is admittedly better than turning to drugs. I mean, yeah. This countdown. Have a good True. Hey, subscribe to this guy's channel if you guys um, like the video. Shout out to uh, Danger Dolan. Oh, I hope you learned something. Um, if you ever thought that uh, one of the superheroes that uh, one of your friends like or you like was kind of lame, well, hopefully you think that they're less lame now. Uh, shout out to all the superheroes out there and everyone that creates them, you know. Uh, let me know who was your favorite uh, worst comic book uh, superhero down there. Mine uh, from this list has to be uh, Doorman. Uh, he's definitely made uh, my top three worst uh, superheroes I created. There is a part two to this. Uh, top 15 worst villains ever created. So I'm going to film that reaction video with someone else, hopefully and a guest reactor with me. So hey, if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Uh, if you guys liked his video, like again, uh, go subscribe to him. And the link for his channel would, will be down in the description box below. See you guys in the next video where we're going to be, uh, I don't know, we're going to do something, reacting to something, trying not to laugh, uh, looking up weird inventions people have made. And uh, hopefully I get a haircut by them because uh, your boy's hair is... Uh, looking kind of ridiculous right now anyways yeah like subscribe and uh remember uh doorman sucks so there you go